everyone, Terry Gigi here. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you. I've gotten a few new subscribers lately, so I wanted to let you know that I'm happy that you're here. I've gotten tons of requests for updates on the Mermaid Cottage. Um, I am standing in front of this little room that used to be an office when we first, um, when we looked at the home, it was being used as an office. If I can find a picture, I will insert it here of what it looked like. It was this really funky lime green. And then this is a little office and it has these um, doors that were on it. She had a ton of stuff in here, y'all. You, you can't even imagine how much she had in here. So it, everything looks smaller when there's nothing here. So when we moved in, I assumed I would use it as a little mini office. And I tried and tried and tried so many times to make it work. And it just would not work with my desk, the size of it. I tried all different things. And I wasn't going to buy a new desk because I realized in the whole time I had lived here, I only sat at my desk in here once. And I also realized that when I do pay bills or do anything online, I'm either at the island, at the kitchen table so I can look out at the view, or on the front porch. So I really had no use for a office. So I went round and round and round with turning it into a bedroom and nobody thought it would work. And I measured it. I spent so much time measuring y'all, it was insane. I would sit in there. I had to empty it out so I had to find a new place for the desk, which means I had to move. Y'all, stuff just gets moved around here all the time because I just, anyway. Okay, so I settled in that I'm going to make this a bedroom. And that's it. Um, everything in this room either came from Target or Amazon. And I will try to link, uh, I know I can link the Amazon stuff below. I'm not sure about how to link Target, but. Okay, I'm turning up the chandelier. All right, here we go. Now, these are little glass doors, but inside I've hung these paper shades that you just unclip and they fall all the way down and give the person that's in here privacy. So let me just show you the room, the overview. Here is, you can tell, this is a shorter wall. And I had to allow space for these doors to open on both sides. So that was another thing I had to deal with, okay? So over here, I've just got a cute shelf. And um, I'll go over that in a minute. And then here is the nightstand I got on Amazon and the bed and the bedding and everything that I got. It really looks cuter in person, y'all. I apologize that it's not, it's really not showing as well as it, it does in real life, but okay, now let me talk you through what I did. I went into Target, I went into Target, and um, I had, my whole plan was to do this bedroom shabby chic and make it kind of a shabby chic beachy room. And so I had all the shabby chic stuff in my basket at Target. And I just, the more I thought about it, I just thought, you know, no. Because I realized that when I have Camp Gigi, when my older two, when my three grandkids can all come together, the two girls will be in the guest room and Luke will be in here. And I just, it, you know, that shabby chic had eyelet and everything. I loved it and lace, but it just, it was too girly. It was too girly. So as I'm going through Target, I think saw I had it all in my basket and then I went to the next aisle and I saw this and I went crazy and I said oh my gosh I'm getting that so Lorelai has that to play with when she gets a little older Layla's past playing with that kind of a doll but and then I saw this bedding right here and all of a sudden my whole mind changed I changed I grabbed this bedding and I just went searching through the, the uh, through Target and I just went crazy and let me show you what all I picked up now I already had the shelf I already had the mirror um, I already had these these are some cute books um, we got that at a store it's a beautiful book with real you know photographs this is a mermaid book that one of my subscribers Diane sent me and this is a beautiful little mermaid book that Lexi had and inside there's puzzles in it that you work. So I can't wait for Lorelai to play with that. And Layla worked these puzzles a million times when she was little. And then there's just a little mermaid statue that one of my friends sent me. 
I saw this pirate ship after the room was finished at Hobby Lobby and I grabbed it up because it, it continued the theme because um, sooner or later I decided to do mermaid and shark so that it was boy or girl and then I just threw that little sign up there that may not stay and I might embellish this uh, I've got some ideas to embellish the shelf a little bit okay so that's just for decor and then on Amazon I ordered this um, nightstand and it's really nice. It's got room in here. This this really is just an empty box. It shouldn't be there. And then it's got two drawers for anyone that wants to just put some stuff in there. I found this lamp on clearance at Target for $11. And the cool thing about this when I got home, it has a um, charger on the back for your phone. So that is super convenient. Although underneath the bed, I have a long strip electrical strip where people can plug in computers whatever they have they can plug in there but they can do their phone right here so that's nice and I had this little fan and um, my son slept in here a couple of weeks ago and he turned the fan on at night and he said he was perfect in here and I received this uh, coaster from my friend Fancy and so I thought oh that's so perfect and then in Target, okay, I found this and I went absolutely crazy for it. It just matched perfect. I don't even think they were made to match, but they do. This, um, I had mermaid sheets when I was going to go all out mermaid. And then when I saw the shark sheets, that's when I went, oh my gosh, I'm going to do both so that it's boy girl. So these are the sheets on the bed and they're super soft and cozy and they weren't that expensive. They were from Target. Um, I had this banner thing. I never did anything with it. I don't even remember why I bought it. I bought it at Target Dollar Stop like five years ago, and I just kept saving it for the right moment. And I thought it looked really cute over the bed. Now, also, I have these. These are Euros, Euro pillows that I already had, and I bought these shams online because I did not want... A headboard on this bed because every inch counts in this room every inch and a headboard can add three or four inches to the length of the bed so I've tested it out I've come in here I've taken a nap I've come in here and sat on my computer read a book a magazine and it's super it's um, very convenient you just can lean back against these pillows they're really thick and nice down pillows and I found the sheets then when I found this I about died so Scott said you know put it there like it's coming through the wall or coming through the water or something you know with the so that's how come I did that so I thought that was cute now this is a painting from a that a friend of mine from college did her name's Marin Divine I think her Instagram is divine art um, or just Google her she's real talented yes. but it went so cute in the room that now I'm naming this painting Queen of the Mermaids. And I'm going to get a really cool white frame to go around it. Now, at the end of the bed, there's not a ton of room, as you can see. But there's plenty of walking space, okay? And so I put a luggage rack here. So whoever's here can put their suitcase there. I have this basket that they can pull out and put shoes or anything they want in there. And then here I hung this. It is for, you can hang um, a jacket, a purse, a backpack, you know, anything, you know, something you're going to wear the next day, a towel, whatever you want to hang there, um, people can hang there. So that I think is super useful, but I want to get something to go above it, something cute, but I just haven't found what I wanted. Um, the other thing I got at Target was I found this cute rug, and I think it just really cozied up the room. Now one reason I chose this bed frame was because it it makes the room seem more airy because you can see under it. You know what I mean? If this was flat to the floor, um, I think it would make the room seem a little more cramped, but this makes it seem a little bit more airy because you can uh, see under the bed. Now I'm going to show you when you close the doors. Now my house up, my Island has a million things on it, so if you see it, just ignore it. Okay, here is, um, when you're on the bed, you can see out into the kitchen. You can see out the window. 
I mean, you can see um, all over the place. So it's not claustrophobic in here at all. I kind of thought it would be, but it's not at all. And there's the paper shades I told you about. You just, um, I'm going to do something else here, but I just haven't done it yet. You just un undo that and they fall all the way down for privacy at night. And so, yeah, that's my, and, and it's quiet too. When you shut these doors, it's quiet. The cat loves to sleep in here. There's the chandelier that may get moved, like I said, to my laundry room at some point. I may put something different. My original plan was to put fairy lights all the way around the ceiling, but with the chandelier and the lamp, we really don't need that. So the chandelier, and the chandelier is, uh, you can dim it if you want, but at night, it's fine with just the lamp um, to go to bed to read or whatever. So yeah, my son stayed in here three nights. He said it was perfect. No problem. Bed was comfy. I even got the mattress off of Amazon, the bed frame off of Amazon, every, every the basket, this, everything was either Amazon or Target or my one Hobby Lobby pirate ship, which I absolutely love. And I want to get a book about pirates. I think that would be fun to have up here too, uh, just for, you know, just for fun. Anyway, okay, well, there's my little bedroom in a box. And um, I will try to give you the dimensions of this room, but it's kind of hard to do because of the the way the door is, is crooked. You know what I'm saying? It, it's angled. That's a better word. Angled. So I may give you the dimensions of the length and the width across these two walls, and then you would have to subtract for this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek of my, I call it the mermaid bedroom. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, have a great day. See you next week.